Ten games left to go. Will Salford win the league? Will glory be theirs? Probably not, but the playoffs are still a very good option. So let's do our best to get into those. Uh, run the intro. Come on. No time to waste. Hello then viewers, welcome back to The Sulfur Story with me, your host with the most, Dr. Ben GFM. Now, since we last met, things have picked up slightly. We did have one slight dip. Uh, we've had three wins out of the four games we've played. Uh, Scunthorpe, Swindon, Colchester and Yeovil were the games we played. A loss against Colchester is a is a minor blip on what has been some decent form. The harp is coming into his own at this point. Uh, and we now today play Bradford City and Cambridge. But there's an in I have to tell you about. Sorry, was that a bit intimidating? Sorry, I won't, I won't do that again. I'm not with that warning. Oh, dear me. Now, Jan Dande, a player that will be familiar to those that have potentially played this far into the future in a save similar to this because Jan Dande doesn't have the greatest of careers on a lot of saves, I've, I've, I've been told. Uh, Liverpool, Q PR don't look he's, he's had the move didn't work out so now he's mine got him on a free transfer he's just been lounging around all for the whole season without a club he's finally gone all right i'll play for salford and we've we've snapped him up three appearances so far one goal one assist and a player of the match a 7.97 average rating and he slots straight into the team in that attacking midfield role uh steve hall picked up an injury rob wellington hasn't been playing well this season not not as far as i'm concerned decent average rating but hasn't been putting in consistent performances day in, day out, and his form recently certainly hasn't been good. So this is the team we're going to play against Bradford City. Sean Thomas in goal. That's weird to say. Fucking Jed Steer. The fire. And yeah, Borthwick Jackson at the back. Jay Thomas. Uh, Jay Thomas. Jeff Thomas. Uh, Nash and Harrop in the middle. Har Harrop, by the way, is really good. Just, I, I don't feel like we touched on it enough last time. He's very good. He's on loan, but he's very good. Consider on the left-hand side. Dander in the middle. Jennings and the harp up front. This could be a good episode. Two home games and hopefully two wins. Let's get into it. Right, as I say, ten games to go. I'll, I'll give you a quick. Uh, I will give you a quick rundown of the league table. Uh, Peterborough and Chesterfield currently sit on top. Now, the automatic spot, uh, spot is still available, but our form is so indifferent so often. I'm not sure we'll sustain it. But we win enough games that the playoffs will certainly be an option. We're currently nine points ahead of seventh. So, unless something catastrophic happens, then we should be fine. Uh, the Harp, by the way, in very good form. If we take a quick look at his form uh, in the last sort of. What would that be? Seven, eight games? Uh, he scored around eight goals. So, uh, yeah, he's doing very well. Seven goals in eight games. That's what I'm getting at. Decent form. Right, we have Submit to the team. Uh, I'm not sure how Bradford are doing this season. Not not that well, I don't think. But we'll have a little look. So, Bradford. Oh, there they are. 11th place. Uh, so, they could drop down with a loss today. Hopefully, that's what happens and we win the game. As the first highlight goes the way of Bradford. They're playing it around very nice. They've got a player called Rolls. Edwards to Rolls to Powell to Hilton. Lots of pronounceable names. I like this. Back to Edwards. This is very, very patient from them. Hilton now on the edge of the box. Is he going to have a shot at goal? He's taken on his man. Blimey. That was aggressive. Didn't enjoy that one bit. Not a good start. Corner kick. Harrop puts it in the box. Both with Jackson, who's scored a, a fair few amount of goals recently. It's, it's odd. I don't know why he's suddenly scoring goals. Oh, Danda. Well. Borthwick Jackson has got the goal. Who who bloody knew? I did. I, I know he's been scoring lots recently. It doesn't make any sense. He's a left centre back. But yes, there we are. One nil. Uh, Dander played it through. It was it was a lovely little ball through as well, wasn't it? Let's enjoy it together. The harp with it then lays it a little little ball off. Dander first time. That's what he brings to the team. And Borthwick Jackson fires in. It's nice that we've got more players to do assists than just Jeff Thomas now. That will be key going into these final stages of the season. Okay, so far we're in a good bit of form. As I say, three wins from four matches. So uh, things, in, things are picking up slowly but surely as uh, as Bradford come forward. Nash puts in a tackle. Clark on this right hand side. We're not we're not very good at defending wide areas. Johnson ball into the middle. The ball that can't really miss from there, which is a problem. Uh, Sam ball looked at one one. Okay, well well done, well done to you. Jeff Thomas corner kick ball in. Oh, how about ball with Jackson? No way. Not not a double. Not a double 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 goal tally. It would be two goals, which is double the one goal. If you do, if you double one, you get two. Is what I'm getting at. You knew that. You knew it. Coming forward again, Jeff Thomas on this right side into Dande. Plays it back to Jeff Thomas. Can he get a ball into the middle? The harp's there, and he's hit the post, and he's hit the post again, and it's cleared. Harrop back out to Jeff Thomas. The ball is still able to get into the... Oh, corner kick, corner kick. Calm, everyone calm down. I think I'm the most stressed out of all of us, but calm. Dander, ball in. Oh, my. Both with Jackson nearly put it in the back of the net again. Dande causing all sorts of problems. Right, half-time. 1-1 uh, so far. Bradford got a bad side, mid-table team, so you'd expect us to... 
to win narrowly. I think that's that's how that works, right? Let me just put that in my results calculator. Well, it's a narrow, a narrow 2 1 win. So, Royal Course. And Bradford come forward. Ball into the middle. Bordock. Oh my god. That is 20 seconds after the restart. Oh my god. It's a 2 1 to them. It's bloody calculator. It's bloody calculator. Johnson on that right side puts the ball into the middle. And again, from. I mean, if you're going to give him that much space to do that, then he's going to score, isn't he? We're going defensive. It seems daft, but we're getting cut open. Okay, we're coming forward. Dander loses out. Harrop, though, does pick it up. And the harp back to Harrop. Now, if he can keep the ball. We've got some very good technicians to, to sound all Brendan rodgers -y. Spencer plays it forward to Bulldog, the goal scorer for, uh, for Bradford, as they come forward again. We are unable to deal with this wide stuff. Oh, no. Ball played in by Clark, you'd imagine. No. Johnson again. Ball into the middle, perhaps, or a shot on goal. Cole. I mean, the goalkeeping positioning is... Where's Jed Steer? Devante Cole, former Manchester United player, I believe. He's got the goal. <sighs> hate life going attacking i guess yeah because bradford are contenders aren't they 15 minutes to go not looking good dander's going to come off not because he's had a bad game i just need to change things peter uh, peter richards is going to come on for the harp confirm substitutions let's play the game they've got a corner ball played in mason cole it's hit, it's hit our defender he gets given the goal as well which is more insult insult to injury love the playoffs that, that can't go wrong can it because we do really well in games that we should probably win so in, in credit to bradford they've come away 19 shots, less, possess less possession. It doesn't matter when you when you score four goals. Ball played in. Jesus. Uh, we've lost four. We're basically, we've lost four one at home. Let me let me um, let me distract you. Some game's over. No time to distract. Uh, we're going to get aggressive. We're going to get angry because really, I should be. Fu that, that, that this was unacceptable. Right. That, that yeah. That, do you know what the, the the instructions are right? It was unacceptable. We haven't even four one to pick in Bradford. Come on. It's not an insult to Bradford fans. I'm just saying in the context of the season seems unlikely and unfair that they would win 4-1 i don't know what happened hi viewers put out a advert for scouts uh, eight people have come back none of which i think are scouts keep an eye on this keep a close eye i'll zoom in for the for the benefit of the, for the video uh we're looking at the jca and the jpa on that on that shot there just blow determination they're the figures we want anything over 10 would be would be preferred getting worse as we go getting worse as we go down. i mean why have these people applied why have any of you applied for this? <sighs> Continue the advert. Bradford. I mean, we've got Cambridge next. They wear similar colours. How have we lost 4-1 to Bradford? Quick financial update. Yeah. All of a sudden, you look at it again, because we lost to Colchester. Oh, just... Oh. You go You go from winning the four... Okay, you go from winning four and five to losing two and three. It's just that football is difficult. Getting Stephen Taylor as a coach. Desperate times. Just thought I'd run you th through some admin. Anyway, time for uh, time to sort out today's team. I mean, you might as well stay with me for this. Let's go through the thought. But let's go through the mind of Ben. Oh, the mind of Ben. That's a good name for an episode. So I think I think Thomas will keep his. Pl nah, Bordy's going to come in. Thomas was. He's considered four. I mean, come on. Uh, the fire Anya and Borthwick Jackson at the back. That seems. That seems okay. I don't think I need to change anything there. Jeff Thomas on the right. Nash in the middle with Harrop. I feel like we should make Harrop a little bit more attacking. Nash will have to sit back a little bit more. Oh, this is a conundrum. Actually, we'll put him on central midfield support, I think. Try and get a bit more out of him. I think he's, he's quality. Get more out of the quality players. Dander's fine. Jennings and the Harp, fine as well. Not much more we have to do. Oh, by the way, Andy Tannoy has gone on loan to Chester. I feel like... I've, okay, the situation with Andy Tannoy is he's here till 2026. He's got four more years on his contract because I extended it for two more years. I might as well let him do something, play some sort of football. He's had a game, so good. Right, time to bounce back. We need to beat. They've got rid of the Cambridge game. What happens to me sometimes? We're playing Walsall instead, who are sixth. No, no word. Oh, look, there it is. It's being postponed because our pitch is waterlogged. I mean, we've been here before. Steven Taylor in the van. Perfect. Well, that changes everything. I'm just, I'm just signing coaches. I feel like we need more coaches. What I realise I'm doing, actually, is just adding money to the wage bill. So, I mean, that's what I do. So, I mean... I'm not hired particularly for that reason. Look, we need to just spend more money. Can we get him in? Yeah, yeah. What's that? More? Yeah, I'll come do it. A couple of youth players picked up some injuries. They look like a crime-fighting duo, if I've ever seen one. Nicholson and Baker, don't mess. What you should do, Ben, pick Bradford and Cambridge. You'll win those. Then, you know, positive attitude going into the final few games. What's that? We're going to cancel it and make you play Walsall? Oh, great. Fucking March. Why is it waterlogged in March? We don't play in the North Pole. Like, come on. So I'm just rambling here. Just, just annoy. This is what happens mid games. You don't. I usually cut this bit out. Just me, just me whinging about stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was talking to myself. I forgot the camera was on. I usually stop it between games. But hi, hi everyone. Ah, good. We've got more scouts have turned up. Lee Croft, two and three. 
Matt Hobbs, seven and five. Hussey, three and two. Monkhouse, eight and six. One of the better ones. One of the better ones. Continue the advert. Okay then. We play Walsall today. It's officially happening. We've already gone through the team that I was going to play against Cambridge. I mean, we're a lot fitter now. I think we just play the same team. Push her up forward, forward a little bit. Nash can play slightly deeper. Dander in between, uh, in behind Jennings and the half. This is this is what can possibly go wrong here. This is perfect. Actually, the fire's going to be brought into the middle, and it's going to play on the right side because he's quick. He can run with the wingers. They're playing a formation I've never seen played in League One. It's a four-two, like combined three. I mean, our midfield's going to get shit on. The team talk's gone well, though, so positive news. Right, let's see how this goes. It might be quite compact in the middle. Um, we're going to try and exploit the flanks. Right, first chance of the game. Walsall in sixth place. A win for Walsall. They go above us. The harp scored. Play the tune. Now, a lot of people commenting and saying, we need a new tune for the harp. We need a new tune. I mean, I've not got a, a library of harp sounds, but I do agree, so I'll, I'll look into it. Harrop played it. He's playing sli slightly further forward now. Plays the ball through. The harp's onto it in a jiffy. And he slots home. The Walsall crowd behind the goal. That's right. You should look sad. Hmm. Throw your hands up in the air. Right. We've just lost 4-1. Let's try and bounce back with a 4-1 win of our own. The harp on this left side. Can he get a ball into the middle? Puts it back to Kinsella. Jennings is there. It's two. And we are romping our way to a victory. The first game, not good. Second game, much better. So far, at least. It's within 10 minutes. That burger van. I used to get there. How are you getting to the burger van? Those three people there must be well pissed off. Right, you can come on. Yeah, we want to come on a match day, if that's all right. All right, yeah, yeah, you can want a match day. Yeah, we want to park quite near quite near the, the fans, so, we, you know, half time they can come and get something. We hear what you're saying, yeah? Right, well, we're thinking that spot in the corner, in the far corner. Yeah, 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 fine. No problem. Go in that corner. Okay, yeah, well... You've built a wall? What wall? You've, you've built a wall. Yeah, I know. So I'm just trying to watch my team because we've, we've just scored. Walsall have scored. It's 2-1. It's um, damn. Ball played in from uh, Walter White on this left-hand side. And, uh, and Kieran Dyer gets there first. Good good job to him. I don't know if you've noticed, but I just I just call players names of their surnames. They're not actually those people. Walter White hasn't actually crossed it into Kieran Dyer, just if anyone was wondering. Well, this this the thing is, though, this does set up the 4-1, which, which we uh, predicted beforehand. Harrop, ball through to Harp. Oh, someone put it in the goal. No, no, mind. Goal kick's fine. Goal kick's fine. We will keep our spot in uh, in third place. Also, because of the Cambridge game, it's almost like we've got a, a mini game in hand now, which is all very exciting because we can see what goes on and then react by losing to Cambridge. Ha half time went well, by the way. Kind of glossed over it. Now, I think the last game of the season will be the final three games of the season. I'm not, I'm not sure what the standing's going to be. Um, but yeah, I think we'll play uh, like five or so games from now until then. Then three games to round off the season to see if we get automatic spot, playoff positions, if we fall out completely. I mean, all all, th all of those things have happened this season. Uh, all of these those things have happened this series. What's has something just fallen off there? Dander, ball in, both with Jackson, the fire at the back post. Well, who knew? The fire scores his goal. I think, was it last episode where he swung at the ball and missed it? I mean, he's redeemed himself in some respects. He's extinguished that memory. <laughs> uh, ball's played all the way through. Bad defending in the fire. He can't really miss. He looks composed, though. Just number 12. Right, so far, so good. Uh, 20 minutes left on the clock. We're going to bring the friend on. I don't, I don't really want to risk Jeff Thomas getting any more injuries this season, so we're going to bring him on. Uh, we're going to bring Josh Leland on as well for Anya, just because I'm feeling fancy. Double change. Just a, just a brief change of that right side. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, God, don't let them score. Right, the friend's bringing it forward. Second half substitution, the friend, Dander, uh, out to Kinsella. I like that Dander and Harrop are kind of changing positions. Jennings with a shot on goal. Look, 4-1. That's what we've agreed. We're going to go attacking because I want that fourth goal. Corner ball for, for, for Walsall. Downing heads down to Scholes. Probably not the Scholes. Back to Stuart Downing, who gives it to uh, Neil Redfern. I'm just, again, I'm just Stuart Downing back on it. Kinsella, though. Oh, he's nabbed it from him. Kinsella moves the ball forward. Harrop to Dander. Dander's going to get a shot on goal. Jennings makes it four. No, he doesn't. The friend. Oh, yes. 4-1. Double four ones. That's 8-2 overall. Add them up. Why have we, have we doing a lot of maths in this episode? I'm not, I'm not sure why. Dander plays it through. Jennings shouldn't really miss. Hayes with a good save. And uh, the friend at the back post to steer it in. Lovely stuff. Oh, don't, don't, don't mention steer. Oh, God. On the, on the plus side, Ryan Bordley hasn't conceded as many goals as, uh, as Thomas. So that's good. And there it is then. 4-1. What a, what a wonderful way to end the episode. We lost 4-1 and then we won 4-1. A turnaround, I'd call that. Four different goal scorers. I've enjoyed that very much. Two, three players who are named the something. The Harp, the Fire and the Friend. It's hardly the line the Witch of the Wardrobe, is it? Oh, that would be a good name for a title, but it's a bit long. Anyway, that result keeps us in third place, which is where we started the episode. We still are six points behind Chesterfield, Peterborough top of the league, Swindon, Brighton, Walsall, all relatively close behind. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Let's aim for the 1,000 likes. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help very much amount 
or a lot is probably a better way of saying that. So, we love with care. From me, Dr. Benji, until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye! It's a very, very, very CBBC wave, isn't it? Goodbye! <laughs> see you again soon! Sonia Luco has heaped praise on Jeff Thomas. Oh, that's a sign of bad things to come.